Hi there. So today we're going to talk about the acronym SOCATOA. Okay, so you should remember that from last year. Um, an acronym means that each letter stands for something, and this is just a nice way for us to try to remember this. Okay, so what this acronym stands for is what we call the trig ratios. Okay, so the trig ratios are sine, cos, and tan. Okay, so these ratios can be applied to an angle, okay, so sine of x, cos of x, and tan of x, okay, so there's my angle, and now the next thing we need to do is we need to decide in this triangle, what's the hypotenuse, okay, so in this triangle, what do you think the hypotenuse is? Well, the hypotenuse is the side that's opposite of the right angle, right, so the right angle is always labeled, and the right angle always points to one of the sides. And that side is called the hypotenuse. Okay? Now, also, the angle that we're talking about points to a different side. That angle points to what we call the opposite side. Okay? So see how this side is actually opposite of that angle? So we call it opposite. Okay. And finally, there's one side that's left over, and that side happens to be adjacent or next to the angle. So that side we call adjacent. Okay, So we have adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse, and that's what this acronym helps us do. It helps us remember that sine of x is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of x is opposite over hypotenuse. Cos of x is CAH, so adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan x is OA, so that's opposite over adjacent. Okay, so those three things, if we can remember that, then we'll be able to solve many triangles that we can't solve with Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So the next thing we want to do is we want to just try to calculate sine 23. So what that means is that there's an angle 23 and the ratio of the opposite to adjacent side to that angle is sine 23. So we want to know what that ratio is. So sine 23, we don't need to memorize all these things. All we have to do is look in our calculator, okay? and you'll see a sign button on your calculator, okay? So the sign button is right here. So I'm gonna hit sign, and then I'm gonna hit 23. Okay, so sign 23 should show up, and then I'm just gonna hit the equals button, and the answer is right there, 0 0.39, okay? So sign 23 is 0. 39, okay? So we need to know how to be able to just input it into the calculator, okay? And now you're going to see an example of why we need to input it into a calculator. So now we're actually going to use trigonometry to try to solve for this missing side, right? Remember that with Pythagorean theorem, we can sometimes solve for sides, but in this case, I don't know this side, so I can't use Pythagorean theorem. So now I have to use trigonometry, okay? So this angle is 25 degrees, and I have a side here and a side here that I'm interested in. This side doesn't really matter, right? Because I don't know it and I don't need to know it, okay? So now let's think back to our Sakatoa and name this tri the sides of this triangle either hypotenuse, adjacent, or opposite, okay? So this side right here, right? You can see that the right angle points to it, which means that this is the hypotenuse. Right? This side right here, well, there's the angle, so this side is opposite, right? So this side I call opposite. And that leaves this side to be the adjacent, right? That's the one that I'm not really going to worry about. So now I have hypotenuse and opposite, okay? So I have an angle, hypotenuse and opposite. So I know that I'm going to need to use either sine, cos, or tan. But to decide which one, all I have to remember is saw, cut, 
total. Right? So see how the thing that relates O and H is right here. So that's sine. Okay? So that means sine 25 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? So now all I need to do is use my calculator and find out what sine 25 is. So I'm going to take the calculator and I'm going to put in sine 25, right? So there's sine 25, put in equals, and I get the answer 0 0.42. Okay? So that means 0 0.42 is equal to A divided by 15. And now, remember when we reviewed, we figured out how to solve for that eight. This is dividing by 15. So to get rid of that, all we have to do is multiply by 15. So 0 0.42 times 15 is equal to A, right? And we get the answer 6.3. So that means the length of side A is 6.3 units. Okay, so if that's 15 and that's 25 degrees, I know that this side has to be 6.3. Okay, so that's it. See you next time.